advanced, you know, safety technologies of driver assist technology on a vehicle. See if I can remember them all. It was lane keeping, adaptive crews, uh, uh, collision prevention, and I think it was ABS was the other one. 33%, that's a third of the highway fatalities could be reduced. And that's why you're seeing NHTSA having such a uh, look at this. I mean, the way I often explain it to people, you think that first they had seat belts, you know, and then airbags, those were kind of passive restraints. Those protect you after an accident, you know, from being injured. Now they're looking at technologies, you know, as I described, driver assist technologies that pre- prevent an accident from happening in the first place are mitigated, like uh, collision prevention that will automatically apply the brakes, you know, before you hit something, you know, yeah. like this and you know, So we're, we're starting to see that. And again, it, it just the effectiveness that they've seen that this could really reduce accidents. Because, you know, look at it this way. Humans, you know, I mean, yeah, yeah you know, everyone likes something mm-hmm. third to drive, but, you know, we get distracted, you know? So, yeah. uh, so, you know, so I think there's, that's another, we, you know, we talked about, you know, Apple and Google and infotainment, but, but that's another whole aspect of the connected car, uh, you know, safety. And we haven't even talked about, you know, uh, what NHTSA is doing in the government with their vehicle to vehicle communication. They're doing a huge study, you know, they're wrapping up now mm-hmm. in Ann Arbor, Michigan, where they have uh, 3,000 cars outside with yeah. vehicle to vehicle communication. 